here today with a very awesome, awesome message because we all go through change at some time or another. And this message is about embracing change, but more importantly, how to make the best decision, the right decision every time. Foolproof technique I'm gonna share with you today. No matter what choices you are up against, and let's face it, we all have choices, whether you are thinking about staying, should you stay, should you go, maybe you're thinking about you know, moving out, or staying where you are, or breaking up with the guy you're with, or the girl you're with, who was once a super stud, now there might be a dud. You want to think through everything that you're going through because most often in life we all are presented with a choice. Do we go right? Do we go left? And here's what happens. A lot of the times when we're faced with a life decision, whether it's should I change jobs? Should I move? Should I follow my heart and leave my job now? Or wait? Or should I get a dog? Should I have kids? Every choice we make is grounded in having A, B, C, having options. And what we do as humans, we often get paralyzed by the choices and we do this because sometimes we hang on to the past. I call it mistake hangovers. It's where you're holding on to the past, maybe a mistake you made in the past, maybe you tried to step forward and leave your career before and it didn't work. Maybe you tried to leave the person you're with before and it didn't work. Maybe you keep falling into past habits and something that didn't work work in the past. And when we do this, it completely takes us out of our own game of life because we're not present. So look at your own life and look at maybe a choice that you are kind of trying to make a decision. Maybe you're on the fence about something and ask yourself if you are falling into mistake hangovers, mistake hangovers eat us up alive. And how you know is you keep falling back on, well, it didn't work before, or gosh, I just, I've made this this time, tried to do this before and it just didn't work, and you just get so frustrated. Well, let yourself be present. The first thing is to recognize what's in the past is the past, and mistakes can actually help us grow. So instead of saying, gosh, I really messed up, and suffocating in that hangover and feeling all icky, you say, what did I learn from the situation? Maybe it wasn't time. Maybe in the past you had expectations about the situation and it didn't pan out and so your expectations were really what wasn't met. So when you think about the goals that you want and these things that you're working towards, actually give yourself permission to get in the moment about how you feel about the situations. Because this, my friends, is going to be the powerful way to decide if you're making the right choice. So here's what happens. We have our head and we have our heart. And our head is full of emotions of, gosh, I messed up before, or oh, am I gonna make the right choice? What if I go down this path and this happens? Well, guess what? There's a what if. You're making up scenarios that haven't even happened and it's really kind of chaotic and it doesn't make sense. And maybe you come back to yourself and you realize, oh, well, this is what I really want, but I don't know how I'm gonna get there. Well, here's how you know how you can make the best choice for you every time, foolproof, this works. This is the way to find out if you are aligned with your true self. So go ahead right now and think about a choice that you've recently made or perhaps you're in the process of making a decision. Maybe you want to stay, go, A or B. Look at uh, the choices that you have in front of you, the scenarios, and go inward. You can take a breath in, take a breath out, and close your eyes if you want. And now picture yourself in scenario A. Go ahead and feel what it feels like to be in that situation. Feel it. You should feel it in your body. It's not up here. It's not rationalizing. You're not thinking your way through it. You're feeling how it feels to be in that situation. Okay? And pay attention. Did you feel uplifted? Did you feel expansive? Or did you feel restricted? Did you feel totally cut off from your own source? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, now you wanna to go to this next scenario, scenario B. Feel yourself in the situation and say, the question you say to yourself is, does this feel right for me? Does this feel good? Now, the situation that feels good, the situation that feels joyful, the situation that makes you feel super alive, that's the one you wanna go with. That's your fail-proof technique. Now, here's what happens. A lot of times we think, oh, this is really what I want. I really want this, but I don't know how it's gonna happen. And it feels great, but I can't leave my job. Well, here's what you wanna do. 
you wanna stop talking to every single person you know and asking them what they think. Because recently I went through this. I had an opportunity with a really big, rather business decision to enroll in a program and I was asking everybody, should I do it, should I do it, should I do it? And it was so great to hear their feedback. I even asked like my mentors and my besties and I was like researching online, talking to strangers, calling strangers on the phone who have taken the program. And I was like, so what was your experience with the program? The program is B-School, Marie Folio's B-School. And you know, I knew in my heart that I was gonna do it. I knew that I wanted to do it, but I was going outward and looking to everyone else to see what their experience was. And you know, everyone pretty much said it's a great, it's a great thing, and you should do it. But I already knew that. And if there was some person that said, ah, uh, you know, you could do it, you couldn't do it, you know, people who didn't know about the program, perhaps if I were to go to my family, I knew that they would say, What are you talking about? You have a marketing background, why would you enroll in a school? You know, and they wouldn't understand. And so I didn't even go to those people because I wanted people to reinforce my inner belief that I should do it. So look at who you're talking to and why you're talking to people about your decision because sometimes we talk ourselves out of decisions by talking to everyone and their mother. You're like, should you? Should I do this, should I do this, should I do this? And your friends are exhausted because they're listening to you and they're so thankful that you're sharing but they're like, oh my gosh, make a decision. Yes, it's time to make a decision. You know in your heart what is best for you and you feel your way to it. And so the goal and the trick to really allow yourself to embrace change and go gracefully into the path that is least resistance is the one that is going to feel the most uplifting, the one that feels most joyful, the one that feels most expansive. And you feel it in your body, you literally feel a shift. And that may mean getting really honest with yourself. Maybe it is time to break up with that person. Maybe it is time to leave that career. And so the only thing you have to do is know that when you use this technique, you're making the right choice every time, every time fail proof. Now the next step, which I share in other messages and I'll get to, but I'll briefly say here, is you take a step. You take a step and then the universe will support you. So for me, I wanted to enroll in B-School. I was talking to everyone, I was up late at night, talking to people. I knew in my heart, I was like, I gotta do it. And I did this exercise, I said, how does it feel? And the thought of not taking it at this stage in my career and at this stage in my life felt restricting. It felt frustrating, it felt heavy. And the thought of taking it and taking myself to the next level and growing my business and really putting myself into a superstar position to allow myself to say, yes, I'm worth it, that feels expansive, that feels uplifting, that feels joyful. And I almost jumped, I actually did jump up and down. I almost cried of tears of excitement because I was like, yes, I'm doing it. And that's what you want. You wanna be so incredibly excited for your freaking awesome decisions that you're making that you jump up every time and say, yes, that I want it. And so here's what you do. You do the exercise, does this feel right? And then you take the step and watch what happens because as soon as you take a step, miracles happen. As soon as I took a step, I did my taxes this week. I thought I was gonna owe a lot more. Amazing, amazing good business practice, long story short, I had that exact amount of money. The universe said, here's your money for B-School. Guess what, You're, you ran your business good last year, granting you this, this refund basically. Amazing, balls. So the universe, I declared though, that this is what I want first and I took a step. And then the universe swoops in and shows you how you can get it the best way. So trust that, trust that you are right where you need to be and right now you can feel your way to happiness. Okay, that's how you embrace change and make the right choice every time. Feel expansive, uplifted, and joyful. And lead your life that way. See you guys soon. Bye.